you are listening to Bedtime Dreamy Tales. Please make sure you have subscribed to our channel for new story. Story title, Top Thumb. Once upon a time, in a quaint village cradled by the embrace of rolling hills and dense, whispering forests, there lived a poor woodcutter and his wife. Their life was one of simple means, marked by the rhythm of seasons and the hard work of their hands. Yet, despite the warmth of their love and the coziness of their humble abode, an echoing silence filled there. Home was silence born of the absence of children to fill it with laughter, mischief, and joy. One evening, under the glow of a crackling fire, the woodcutter, his thoughts adrift in the sea of his longing, broke the silence. His wife, her hands dancing with the yarn she spun, shared in his sentiment with a heavy heart. Even a child as small as a thumb would be a blessing to us, she whispered, her voice tinged with hope. As if carried by the wind to the ears of fate itself, their wish was soon to be granted. In a twist of magic or perhaps destiny, the couple was blessed with a son. This child, though no larger than a thumb, was vibrant with health and spirit. Overjoyed, they named him Tom Thumb and vowed to shower him with all the love and care within their means. Despite their loving efforts, Tom's stature remained unchanged, a constant reminder of their initial wish. Yet, what Tom lacked in size, he abundantly made up for in wit, courage, and an indomitable spirit. He quickly grew into a clever and resourceful child, much to his parents' pride and joy. One day, as the woodcutter prepared for his daily toil in the forest, he lamented the absence of help in moving the heavy cart. Tom, ever eager to prove his worth and assist his father, proposed a novel plan. Despite his father's initial hesitations, fearing for his son's safety due to his diminutive size, Tom's conviction won. He directed the horse from within his ear, a strategy so unexpected yet effective that it worked without a hitch. This remarkable feat caught the eye of two passers-by, who, astounded by Tom's unique abilities, devised a plan to purchase him from his parents. They envisioned a fortune to be made by showcasing Tom's talents across cities and kingdoms. Faced with an offer of gold, the woodcutter found himself torn between his love for his son and the prospect of a life free from poverty. Tom, sensing his father's dilemma and driven by a yearning for adventure comma, persuaded his father to accept the offer. With a heavy heart but buoyed by hope, the woodcutter agreed, entrusting his precious son to the strangers for a sizable sum of gold. Tom's journey with the strangers was a tapestry of wonder, cunning, and narrow escapes. He enjoyed the thrill of the journey, perched atop their hat brim, taking in the sights and the exhilaration of the open road. However, as the cloak of night descended and weariness set in, Tom's clever mind hatched a plan for escape. He sought refuge in an old mouse hole, evading his captors and leaving them bewildered and empty-handed. In his search for shelter, Tom came across a snail shell, which he ingeniously turned into his bed for the night. His rest, however, was short-lived. He overheard two thieves plotting in the dark, seizing the opportunity to outsmart them. Tom entangled himself in their schemes, navigating a precarious path that saw him both aiding and thwarting their plans. His ingenuity saved a wealthy household from ruin, all the while ensuring the thieves' ultimate downfall. The dawn brought with it the most perilous leg of Tom's odyssey. A series of misfortunes saw him first swallowed by a cow, then, in a bizarre twist of fate, consumed by a wolf. Yet, even within the belly of the beast, Tom's spirit remained unbroken. He persuaded the wolf to visit his parents' home, promising a feast beyond imagining. This decision set the stage for a dramatic reunion. The wolf, caught in the very heart of the home, became the catalyst for Tom's rescue. His parents, wakened by the commotion, confronted the beast, ultimately freeing Tom from his grasp. Their reunion was a tapestry of emotions, joy, relief, and disbelief weaving through each word and embrace. Tom, with the flair of a born storyteller, comma, recounted his adventures from his unconventional travels to his cunning escapades. His tales, brimming with danger, wit, and a dash of magic, brought laughter and wonder to his parents' life, filling their once quiet home with the vibrant tapestry of his journeys. In the end, Tom Thumb remained a figure of legend in his village, a testament to the idea that courage, cleverness, and a kind heart are not bound by stature. His adventures became the stuff of folklore, inspiring all who heard them to believe that the smallest among us could hold the greatest of adventures. Tom's story, a beacon of adventure and courage, continued to echo through the ages, a timeless reminder of the wonders that await those who dare to dream no matter their size. If you like this story, please give this video a like 
and comment below with your thoughts. See you in the next story.